So getting right into this, um, I really liked how securely everything was packaged and I really liked that the exterior box had the ventilation holes in it just because it is getting to be warmer here and um, that way the things inside wouldn't get too hot because being in the south that was my primary concern but everything felt nice and cool, not too hot at all. It was only like 75 today but definitely getting into May and June that's going to be more of a concern. Um, I really liked that the crickets were taped closed with the tape all the way around the container because I've heard horror stories about cricket shipments exploding um, and then these are the hornworms. They all looked great. They were all alive. Um, they have so much of that food in the bottom and some of them are quite a bit bigger than others which actually works for me uh, because some of my spiders are quite a bit bigger than others. And I thought, who better to review all of these different feeders than the spiders themselves? So I'm gonna go ahead and feed everybody. So first up, we have my Grandma Sola Polkra sling named Poe. Um, I got Poe at about one inch DLS and she has doubled in size in the last six months. Um, of course, I don't know for sure if Poe is a female or a male yet. She is not big enough, but I'm just putting that female energy out into the universe. Um, I wasn't sure if she would take this because she just ate a pretty decently sized roach yesterday. It was my last roach, um, but as you can see, she took it happily and we even get some sweet fang action shots, which I was really excited about because she is just getting big enough to where you can really see some cool fang action. So uh, let's enjoy that. Next up is Lilith, my Nandu Tripepi or Tripepii. Um, we will not be seeing her today. She is in pre-molt and has started closing up her burrow. She's getting to be about three inch DLS now. Um, and I did leave her a couple of mealworms just in case she wants one last meal before she molts. And this little monster is my piece as my named Bulvar, um, who is extremely slow growing and is probably about three quarter inch DLS after six months, um, but just recently molted and is a great eater. Um, Bulvar took not one, but two tiny mealworms today. And you'll notice that that enclosure is closed and that's for good reason. Up next is my Brachypalma Baymai named Helena, and Helena just recently shed, gosh, not even a week ago, and has finally started to show some of her adult colors, which is really exciting. Um, she's probably about an inch and a half DLS now, and started out at half an inch DLS six months ago, so I'm really happy with the rate of growth that I'm seeing with her. Um, she's a great eater, always eats for me. She took down this gummy worm with no issues whatsoever and treats us to some awesome fang action for being such a small sling. I love the attitude on this one. All right, y'all, that is gonna wrap it up for today. I hope if you're considering ordering your feeders from Rainbow Mealworms that this helped you out. My spiders certainly seem to approve of all of the new choices. Um, I will see y'all very soon for hopefully a rehousing video. Um, in the meantime, you can find me on Twitter at Lizzie's Long Legs or subscribe to see more videos here on YouTube. Thanks so much for being here. Y'all take care and I will see you soon.